Okay, filling in for Molly Karam, I'm with Stephen A. Smith, and uh, Max is here. Max Kellerman joining us from Vegas. I know you're in your old stomping grounds uh, handling some boxes, boxing matches. Indeed. I just want to say this. I just want to say this, Max Kellerman. I, I want to look out for you here because you're in California, and you hear me now, and your mic appears to be working now, but I'm hearing that there's some difficulties, and if there is difficulty, I know what really is happening is that Max is a little bit nervous having to go against his boy right now, and it's, it, it's probably getting the best of you. I understand, Max. If you need a break, if you need a little bit more time to prepare, if you're a little bit nervous, and you're not, you're not ready to go, we can always blame it on the technicians. We can do that, Max. We can do that. Do you need us to do that? Stephen A., Stephen A., the show's not even 60 seconds old. You're already wrong. I'm in Vegas, and guess what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's do it. Let's All right. do it. Damn. I, you know what? Forgive me. Hey, listen, that's an honest mistake. You're usually in L.A. Come on, man. That's an honest mistake there. All right? That, that really is. Uh -huh. That really don't, is. Don't project on me. You're Mr. L.A. nowadays. You're Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L.A. Ever he, since he, he, Stephen he A. Smith me. shows on in L.A., he, you he, can't he stay out of that city. He busted me there. It's, it's kind of true, bro. That's kind of, he's kind of got me there. He kind of got me there. Max, I know you're in Vegas right now. You're on the call for some boxing coming up. So uh, we'll, we'll hold it down for you here in New York. Let's get right to it, all right? Yeah, let's do it. There might be trouble brewing in Carolina as the Panthers start the season 0-2. Cam Newton and his team's offense was held ineffective, scoring zero touchdowns. Newton completed 24 of 50 passes for 324 yards and rushed just twice for zero yards. With Cam struggling, pressure mounted on running back Christian McCaffrey, who had a total 53 yards in the game and was denied on fourth and one from the two-yard line with one minute and 21 seconds left in the game. Here's what Ron Rivera and Cam had to say after the game. Well, what we hope to do is, you know, with Christian, uh, we felt had a good opportunity to score. And so we went fake reverse, you know, uh, ghost action, trying to, you know, deke him a little bit. And we had every opportunity. And, you know, we thought we could, we could at least get the first down, and unfortunately we didn't. Is Cam's foot such that you No, his foot is not such. Anymore. We don't trust it. So it's, don't even worry about the foot. The foot's got nothing to do with it. Okay. Do you have liked the ball in that final? Of course, time? of course. But like I said, you're not about to sit up here and have me point and say what what I would have called different or what a me personally. I set full responsibility in making sure that offensively I do my part and I uphold my end of the bargain. That's the only thing I got to say right now. And uh, you know, I'm I'm shameful to say it that way. And it came down to that not being able to put up points. But hey, at the end of the day, it's the National Football League. You know, some games you lights out and you can't miss, and some games. You know, you miss, you know, so at this particular point in time, it's up to us offensively to to do better uh, because our team has given us opportunities. And you see Cam taking full blame. Hey, he said it starts with me. It's on me. Stephen A., are, are you losing faith in Cam? I've been losing faith in Cam Newton. Let me be very, very clear about this. The first thing he's having a problem with is that wardrobe. That's the first thing he should have, right? or, better, or better yet, to be more specific, that damn hairdo. I don't know what the hell that is. I mean, my goodness, please, do something with it. That's number one. And you know if I'm it. talking about somebody's hair, you know we got a problem. You know we got a problem. That's number one. Number two, here's the deal. Cam Newton, what did I, what did I spend this week saying, Max Kellerman? What did I spend this week saying? Accuracy from the quarterback position matters. There is no question that Ron Rivera, at some point in time, you and North Turner, quarterback sneak, you ever heard of that? Try it. The brother can run with the football for crying out loud. Try it. Now, maybe in that particular situation, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, led by Todd Bowles and his defense, because we all know he might have struggled as a head coach with the New York Jets, at least for a couple of seasons. But there is no question that the man knows something about defense and being a defensive coordinator. He probably would have been ready for Cam Newton on a sweep or quarterback sneak. There's no question about it. I understand it. But at some point, you might have wanted to exercise that as opposed to trying some fake reverse, some go sweep for Christian McCaffrey, who's, who's arguably your best player. You don't want to go in that direction. But in the end, what this comes down to, more than anything, is Cam Newton. 24 of 50 for 324 yards. That's less than 50% of his passes. He was underthrowing and overthrowing all night long. There were a myriad of opportunities that he missed. And what did I tell you? Listen, he's Cam. As Prime, my man Prime Tom Deion Sanders would say, Cam, oh, Cam. Oh, please. I mean, we used to sing that in a very complimentary fashion. Now we're lamenting what we're seeing from this young man. Cam Newton is the third best quarterback in his own division. And all I'm saying is, you see, he will help you win games. I am in no way trying to disrespect him. I know he can play. 
But in terms of throwing the football accurately, he lacks some serious stuff in that department. And until he gets that right, Carolina ain't going nowhere. You ain't beating Atlanta in this division. You're not beating New Orleans in this division. If this man can't find accuracy, I know Max was out of last year, but this year so far, no. Cam Newton's the fourth best quarterback in the division last night. Jameis Winston outplayed him. Jameis had a good game by his standards. Mm -hmm. Cam had a very poor one. Don't mess up next week. Head coaches and GMs are sometimes allowed to lie. Ron Rivera is flat out lying here. Do I know this for sure? No, this is my opinion. Man, Ron, come on, stop. Cam Newton is fit. It has nothing to do with the leg, nothing to do with the shoulder. Stephen A., Cam Newton is clearly hurt. It's affecting his accuracy. It's affecting play calling from the sidelines. Clearly hurt. Look, he, you have Cam Newton. How many yards did he rush for? Zero, one, two. I mean, like, there was nothing. Three different times Zero. in the game. Chance for a quarterback sneak. When you, Stephen A., the quarterback sneak, and I love, you know, I bring up Warren Sharp Sharp Analytics a lot. You lament it. I love when I'm watching a game and I'm like, I have, wait, what happened? To, and then afterwards, the analytics guys are asking the same questions. That's when I know I'm on the right track. Stephen A., the best play in football in short yardage situations. When you need that first down, it's fourth and one. Is the quarterback sneak, and it's not rocket science. Why? Because the quarterback is closest to the line of scrimmage. And when you have a big, strong, fast quarterback, it's very difficult to stop. That goes for any quarterback, let alone Cam Newton. Cam Newton has... They've tried the quarterback sneak with Cam Newton much more than any quarterback over the years. Like, way more. Second place is not close. He is successful doing it more than anybody else. Even as a percentage of his attempts, he's extremely successful on a very successful play. So I don't want to hear, well, Tampa's ready for it. Who cares? It, the fact that you dial it up zero times when you need it tells me that it's an injury. Why? Because even if they're ready for it, even if Cam is diminished somehow because of his leg, Right? And you still think, well, he's not. No, even a diminished Cam Newton has a better chance with a quarterback sneak than dropping back seven yards and trying a pass or handing the ball to the running back coming out of the backfield. You're giving up those yards. So the fact that they didn't even try it tells me it's not just that they didn't think it was going to work because it had a better chance of working than anything else. It's that they don't want to risk exacerbating an injury. That's what it tells me. Cam is hurt. You cannot judge him off of these performances. So, Stephen A., what Max seems to be making this about is that it is simply a health issue. Mm -hmm. You know, Cam in the mm -hmm. offseason had the mm -hmm. shoulder surgery in the preseason, hurt that left ankle again, which he had surgery on in 2014. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Do you think this is a health issue? Or are you trying to say Cam Newton is in decline? This is a skill issue. Well, first of all, I don't try to say much. I just say it. So what do you Damn say? right I'm not saying it's a injury issue. It's a skill issue. I'm sorry, was he hurt in 2011? No. He completed 60% of his passes. Was he hurt in 2012? He completed 57% of his passes. Was he hurt in 2013? He completed 61% of his passes. Was he hurt in 2014? That was 58%. 2015, his MVP year, 59%. Accuracy throwing the football has been an issue for Cam Newton throughout his career. I am not insulting this man by pointing out that fact. I'm acknowledging all the other skill sets that he brings to the table. He's a phenomenal athlete. He can run with the football. He can move chains. He can make plays. On occasion, he can throw the football on more than occasions. He can throw the football. But more often than not, accuracy throwing the football from the quarterback position has been an impediment to the success of Cam Newton throughout his career. Last year with North Turner, his purse was the first time we saw Cam Newton flinging that football oh. before he got injured. 67%. All I'm saying before is he the got first seven hurt. years. That's right. Ding, but, the ding, first ding. Seven, but the first seven years, Max, the it, accuracy was an issue. Okay, well, I'm not going That's back. To, listen, I'm not going back to 2000. Listen, look, I respect the argument. Max, last year, first half of the year was an outlier, right? Look at what he's always done. But you're going back seven, eight years to show me that he's inaccurate. No! You just seven, said six, New five, five, four, three, two. Guys, Cam Newton is 30 oh, years I, I, old. Can he improve on accuracy the, at this point most, in his career? Can he improve yes, on accuracy? Look, he Norm did last Turner, year. Yes. Norv Turner, you just said it. So if you look at something new and you say, well, that's an outlier, or could it be a trend? Were there any other new circumstances in his environment that you, that you, a factor that you enter in that would change things? Yes, you bring it up, Norv Turner. There's no reason to believe, or there's, many, there's lots of reason to believe Cam could sustain an increased 
uh, performance out. in terms of his accuracy. The fact that he was inaccurate well, throwing well, well, the football, well, well, you need to plant your well, foot, let's stay you here. need a shoulder to throw. Let's stay at your he point. was muscling the ball. He was inaccurate down the field as a result let's of injury. Let's stay Real quick, at Stephen your a. point. Keep let's stay at your credit. point. I, I'd, I'm like, saying, I'd like to say I, one I, thing I, and then I, you can I'm, respond go to the ahead, earlier point. Go ahead, go ahead, no problem. My bad, go ahead, go ahead. You're, you're right. Cam, no problem. Cam, Cam deserves credit for being out there. Andrew Luck is retired. Cam took the same hits. He's out there not making excuses. I'll make the excuse for him. The man's hurt, period. But I'm saying to you, Max, I'm not saying he's making excuses. I'm not accusing him of doing such a thing. I'm not even saying that you're wrong about the improvement, but I'm accusing it of being an outlier. I'm saying it's an aberration. What's normal when it comes to Cam Newton is for us to look at his throwing accuracy and have that as a question mark. And when you consider that and then look at his own division with New Orleans and Atlanta, look at the NFC overall with L.A., Seattle, Green Bay, Chicago, Minnesota, Dallas, Philly. I just gave you seven teams that they got to deal with outside their division and this brother's got accuracy issues i'm sorry i can't be high on that i can't all right guys we gotta wrap it up here a lot more to debate and to come on first take should odell expect a rough afternoon after his comments about jets defensive coordinator greg williams stephen a